what's poppin pretty gang today i'm gonna show you guys how i got this look using acrylic and not only does it save you money it also helps you practice so if you want to make money off of doing it you can do that too and do other people's nails so basically right now all i'm doing is taking this little cuticle pusher thing and just pushing my cuticles back you have to do this step you cannot skip this step otherwise the nails will just not come out right so you have to push your cuticles back so that's all i'm doing So next I'm taking this file, don't, matter, don't mind how rough it is because it get the job done. So I'm just filing my fingernails just to get all that, just, you just want to get a flat, smooth surface when you apply your nails. And this helps the nails adhere to your fingernails better. So you just want to file the surface of all your nails really good and that's what I'm doing. Okay, so these nail tips and this nail glue all are a part of a kit that I got from Wish. Um, that's It's a great way to start off. It comes with like a whole bunch of different nail things that you can use if you're a beginner with acrylic nails. And I'm going to link everything that I've used in the description below, if I remember to. Um, so basically, all I'm doing is taking the tips and just sizing them up to my fingernails. And I'm going nail by nail. So I get all of the sizes the same. And I'm taking the glue and just applying a little bit and then I'm pressing it on my nails. So now I'm taking this nail clipper that also came with the kit and I'm just clipping my nails to the length that I want them. Um, another tip is you want to clip them a little bit longer than what you actually want them to be because with all the filing and shaping we're going to be doing, they're going to be a little bit shorter than what you wanted. So clip them longer than what you want. And then you just put each finger by finger and just make sure the same length. Um, and that's how you get them to be perfect in size. And then I'm just filing. You want to file the surface of the nail and the nail tip as well so you get a smooth surface with the nail tip and you want to buff the way uh, buff away the shine from the tip and now i'm just clipping the sides because i want a coffin shape um but my pinky i'm gonna get a stiletto shape so once i do that i'm just gonna file and shape them and all that good stuff and you just gotta watch me do it
These are my primers. I'll list where I got them from below. Then I got the dipping dish and this is the acrylic and this is the monomer. And these are what's gonna keep the smell from being so strong. You need those drops. Otherwise your house will smell like a nail shop, three nail shops in one. So I put like five of those drops in there and then I'm just spinning my brush around, cleaning my brush out, getting it ready for use and getting the smell right. So now I'm gonna prime my nails and you have to prime your nails, otherwise your nails will not last. Your nails will pop right off. Do not prime your nails and go touch other stuff. If you're not about to do your nails right in there, do not put the primer on. So I put the primer on. I'm using both of these primers. So I put that primer on and I'm going to put the other primer, the Kiss primer, again. So now all I'm doing is basically laying down my acrylic. As you can see, I just pick up a small bead and start applying it. Um, it's really no specific way I do it. I just do a bead to the top, a bead to the middle, and a bead towards the cuticle. Now, I want to say this. Please watch how you place this acrylic by your cuticle um, because what will happen is it will start to set and it will be all on your cuticle. So make sure you don't place it too close. Otherwise, it will be on your cuticle and that will not be a good look at all. It will look a hot mess. So pay attention to how you place this by your cuticle. So now all I'm doing is filing and shaping the nails after I laid the acrylic just to get them back in the shape that I want them in. And you want to smooth out the surface of the nail so you'll notice that I'll go around the nail and smooth out the surface. And basically all you're doing is filing and smoothing your nails. So I didn't show this part, but I just applied some clear kiss nail gel to my fingernails. And now I'm taking this Jamaican black castle oil and applying it to my cuticles of my fingers because we don't want crusty hands when our nails are done. That's just not a good look. So I'm applying the Jamaican black castle oil to my fingernails with this brush. And that's all I'm doing. And then that'll pretty much be it for the look.
hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um i hope this saves you plenty of money and i hope this helps um i must say that i love doing my own nails it has saved me a lot and it's just it's just good practice something good to know so if you guys like this video subscribe comment and let me know what you want to see next peace pretty gang